M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So let's restore our TYT MD380 or RT3 back to its original firmware using the Farnsworth software. So I'll put the link in the description here at the top and just edit, just um, select and install edit CP1.0.31. When you've done that, you will get this window here. Okay, now it's got the basics, so let's just go straight into it. The so radio, read code plug from radio, like so. And you select the radio, so MD380 is the model we've got, and it's 70 centimeter model. That's this small little window here. And then we'll just click OK, and it will read the radio. And they're going into the code plug. At first, it, it looks like there's nothing there but when you start to click channels puts them in this nice easy format look there's all your channels and all your adjustments you've got zones down here and contacts that's probably the main things that you would change on a radio basic information the actual radio general settings and this is where you would put your DMR number ETC so okay so what we'll do, we'll save that before we now restore it back to its original firmware. So we'll just go File, Save, and then we'll put it somewhere. Let's give it, a, this can be a new one. It's in my TYT Tools folder, but you can select the folder in the normal way and just click Save. So we've got a backup of that radio. So now we can go Radio, we can go Right Fact factory firmware to radio and then we're looking for our radio MD380 factory firmware 390 is the dual band model RT3 and we've got the RT8 there RT3 and three and 380 to me are the same thing but they might not be so just choose the right one so MD380 it's now telling us the normal procedure for putting the radio into firmware mode which is turn off Hold down the PTT and the button above, and you will get a red a red light flashing. Now there is another selection here: radio model 380 old, 380 D13.2, 380 new, MD380 newer, 14.04, and so I, you know, this is up to you. You need to do your research on this, but I found that if if the model's too new. Um, it won't accept the MD380 tools, so you choose the one you want. Uh, what's the newest one? That's that the G must be for GPS. That's the newest. The 15 one I've been told won't accept it, so I think I'm going to go for the MD380 uh, newer. I'm going to try that. I can always revert it back again, can't I? And then I'm going to turn the radio off. It's now flashing red. The next step will be to, let me think now, click update firmware, which we've done. And it should be raising the radio's firmware. And this is an excellent program. I haven't looked at the other, you know, other things on this program, but farnsworth.org. Someone had contacted me and said they couldn't restore their firmware, and this is what they used in the end to do it. So, okay, it says here, turn back on radio. So let's turn it off and on. And we should have just the normal MD380 firmware. Yeah, it's staying on the welcome screen, so what we'll do is try an older firmware. So we'll just turn it off again. Remember, we've got our TYT cable, and in the device manager, we've got right-click, device manager, ports. We don't look at ports, we look at universal serial bus, and it will say STM device in DFU mode. Okay, so let's turn it off again. PTT 
we're in flash mode again and let's go radio right factory firmware MD380 and let's go with the old one I think click update firmware see what happens this time clever isn't it right right factory MD380 turn off and on Okay, we've got a, a white screen this time. It's quite good, isn't it? The way you can just go to old ones. Radio. Right, we'll do it again. Factory firmware. Let's choose this one. 13.34. Oh. Of course, finding out which is the correct one is, is more important. I'm just playing around here. Yeah? So, update firmware. Erasing firmware. And normally, you can go into settings and look up the firmware number model you've got. Try again. Not playing ball this one, is it? So, let's try the MD380 firmware. Radio. And we'll go to, we'll put it back into the right mode. Firmware mode. This time we're going to do the MD380 tools KD4 model. Click update firmware. I think if it doesn't work, we'll still call it a day. But you get the idea. The main thing is check the correct firmware before you do this. I've been playing around with this KD4Z tools and it's really good. But everything you do is at your risk. And whenever you do firmware, you'll have you're risking problems with the radio. There you are, looks like that's come back on good. It looks like it's still got my old code plug on there. So there you are, that's the KD4 firmware, works, works excellent. Really enjoy using that. And if I wanted to write the firmware back, remember I've, I've saved a file, go file, open. That was the one there. And then just write code plug to radio, click yes. And that'll be our latest code plug. So I'll just say again, when restoring the firmware to your radio, look up the firmware, see if we can just quickly type in now and look which firmware we had. We'll go menu, confirm, and we go back, we want settings, don't we? Yes, yeah, so the version I had is menu, utilities, Info version 0.1.41 are the versions that I had. Sorry if you couldn't hear me too clear there. Let me just quickly look at that firmware again. Radio, factory, move this over a bit. Radio, let's read it first and see what it says. Read code plug. Like so. Basic information, does it say it there? DR780, nope, doesn't really say it there. General settings. 
So let's quickly look at those selections. Radio. Right factory radio firmware to radio. We select R two three a second. Oh, that's good. I didn't want to do that. <laughs> uh, radio factory firmware. Did that quite quickly, didn't it? Uh, MD three eighty. Ah, this is where you get more more choices. So fourteen, yeah, fourteen point oh four. But mine is actually fourteen point oh one. So there you are, you take your pick. And at your risk, 7-3, thanks for watching my channel, all the best.